Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we're going to look at some new palettes from Viseart. Always a joy to add Viseart to my expanding Viseart collection, I am happy to say, ever expanding. Today we are going to look at three of the new Viseart Petit Four Lotus Collection palettes. There are three, and I have all three, is what I should have said. They are $25 each. We are going to look at all three, try them on, and swatch them in two different lightings. We have three uh, palettes here that are interchangeable. You guys know how this is done. Let me hold up the Water Lotus just as an example here. The palettes here are magnetized. They come out and they are interchangeable with the other Petit Fours, of course. They uh, The Florette, if you picked up the Florette, these will work in that. These also work with the Grand Pro and the Etam Du palette. So depending upon what you have, you can take this out, you can put them in other magnetized palettes, or you can just leave them. I like to leave them as they are, but I know a lot of working makeup artists that will need things arranged in color, and you can go ahead and make these your own. I really love that. All right, so these are, of course, very zen, very lotus. We have the Water Lotus. This is the kind of green shades. We will look at these swatched. We have the Sakura Lotus, which is, you know, purpley shades, really pretty. And we have the Rosea Lotus, you know, kind of a little bit of a rosier shade. And you are getting a preview of the Rosea right now on my eyes already. All right, let's take a look at these in two different lightings. We'll start with lighting that I unfortunately doesn't really do it justice, but let's take a look. First, we're going to look at them in studio lighting. Left to right on my arm, we have the Water Lotus, Sakura Lotus, and all the way towards my wrist is, of course, the Rosea Lotus. They are beautiful and super subtle. And what I love about these palettes is they're really subtle and gentle, but they build beautifully as you'd expect them to. There's not any surprises with some sort of a dark shade going, oh no, and you're trying to get it off. They build exactly as you would think they would. If you knock off and tap off your brush, then they go on gently. If you use a gentle hand, they go on gently. If you dig in more and put more on, they put on as much as you'd expect. There's no surprises. And I don't know if I'm explaining that right, but there's sort of an intuitive way that you can use Viseart shadows, these being no exception. But if you really want to see what these look like. Let's take them outside into the warm California sunshine. On the left here, we have the Water Lotus palette, the Sakura Lotus, and all the way towards my wrist, the Rosea Lotus and those rosy shades. And I try to focus in on them a little bit more in the sunshine so you can see them in their glory. These are super beautiful, beautiful palettes. And for $25 each, I think a great great investment for your makeup collection and an incredibly good independent brand to support. I mean, who are we kidding? Good people make good makeup. I generally find that's the case, actually. All right, let's go ahead to the demo right now. Lots of Synergy brushes here, even some from the Lotus collection. That's appropriate. Okay, we're going to do, we have three palettes. We're going to do one eye, one eye, and then we'll do the last palette on both eyes. Now these will not, unfortunately, they will not get the benefit of mascara and eyeliner, which is a shame, but my eyes are still sensitive. I'm recovering from an eye infection from a week or so ago, so um, I don't want to be scrubbing off uh, eyeliner and such, but I'll show you what I would pair with it. We are going to start, as you see, with the Water Lotus, which is kind of these more green shades, and it is gorgeous. I'm really excited about this. So let's start here with this shade right here, and I am just, I'm going to only do this one eye, but I will wear this in future videos. And I am really, with a very, very gentle touch, oh my goodness, this is beautiful, very, very gentle touch, just putting the shade just really, really gently over the entire lid. And because it's such a kind of bold shade on my skin, um, just a little bit does it, especially because you guys know I like to wear a gentle eye look. I don't really like a very forceful eye look. Now, keeping with the same brush, I'm going to go into this deeper shade here and then just gently wipe off the brush. And that is where I'm going to go also gently. I'm using a really light hand uh, into the outer corner and up onto the eye. And even that light hand, for me, I really like the way that that looks. And I'm going to take the Lotus brush and go into that same gently, you know, dark shade gently in there and run it underneath the eye. 
And again, I'm doing that very gently because I am aware that I have to take off this eye shade, unfortunately. Now we have two shades here and I'm gonna stick with this Lotus brush. I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is a shimmer shade, and just gently go on to the lid. I'm being really gentle with these shades. Not only am I being super careful with my eyes lately, I actually like these applied with a really light hand. I think they're just really feminine and gentle. And I'm actually gonna stick with that same brush, no need for brush laundry, into this top shade here, and then go right into the inner corner and then meeting the other shade onto the lid. Now picture this with either a brown liner or I'm gonna bring out this Glossier liner that I like, I'll put it in the description bar. Just imagine on the waterline, this with it. <laughs> I know, I know, you guys are like, imagine, you can't do it for us. I, I can't, I'm really trying to let my eyes heal. But if you can see that together, I'll put this in the description bar, it's beautiful. But if it's just on the inside of the waterline, and then a lot of black mascara, can you imagine? I'll cover this eye, how pretty. Okay, so now that that is, well, let me just admire that for a moment. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. And you can combine this with other shadows if you want to. But since this is my first impression, we're just giving them each their due. Their due would have a lot longer wear, but you know what I mean. Okay, so let's take a look now at the Sakura Lotus. These are kind of those basically gentle purples and obviously some clean brushes. We're gonna go in first with this matte shade here and gently, you don't wanna knock off the brushes. These are you know, really nice natural hair brushes. So they don't wanna be tapped too hard. And I have just put that all over the eye. Wasn't as gentle with that because the shade isn't as shocking to someone like me. Same brush into this slightly deeper mat. I kinda of like this little formula I'm using here. And I'm going to go uh, onto the outer portion of the eye and up. Looks like I could use a little bit. I could go a little bit less tapping off on this one, which is nice. Um, and I got, uh, getting some nice building color payoff. And just switching to a little bit of a pencil brush. Oh, wow. Isn't that pretty? Back to that, uh, oh, this is, okay, this is where we're gonna get some purple in here. I'm gonna switch again, switch brushes again. Let's do this, let's use every shade here. Let's do this on the lid, oh, that's pretty. Look at the way that transforms on the lid into this just kind of electric violet without being too electric. And then that light shimmer shade we will put into the inner corner and then joining that shade in the middle. Wowza. Wowza, I'll cover the green so it doesn't throw you off. And I even brought over, look at this, I like these Glossier color liners. Look at this one. It's kind of a, almost a burgundy, if you could put that on the inner waterline. Wouldn't that be pretty on the inner waterline with this eye look? Wow. Okay, so that would also give it a little bit of grounding, that kind of eggplant color to the look that I did underneath the eye. Almost comes off as a black, but we know it has a little bit of purple in it. I'll, I'll put those in the description bar. I really like those little, uh, little shades and this this definitely needs uh, some mascara and that eyeliner. You could do a black or a brown eyeliner too, of course. Those are super pretty. Okay, I'm gonna take these off gently and then we'll come back and we'll do the um, Rosea Lotus on its own. Okay, we're going to give the Rosea both eyes and I do have a little bit of mascara and eyeliner on. Now, wrong order, I know, but it's okay. All right, so we're gonna start with a nice fluffy uh, Sonia G brush. And we're going to go first into this top shade right here and just kind of cover all of both eyes. Is this one my favorite? Well, it's the most neutral, so you know I'm drawn to it, you know how I am. But that doesn't mean it has to be. I don't know, that green's pretty good. Down into the shade here, very, very large brush, but I'm okay with that. I'll probably switch brushes, but I'm okay with that, why not? With brushes, sometimes it's love the one you're with, you know? <laughs> okay, and I'm just kind of putting that mostly in the center, but all the way over. Ooh, this is pretty, isn't it? Very subtle and gentle, switching brushes. I'm gonna take that shade right there. 
a little bit under the eye. <gasps> That's pretty. All right, let's stick with, um, let's use a finger actually on this right here. Oh God, that's a gorgeous shade. And I'm just gonna go across the whole mobile lid with that beautiful celestial shade. Oh, that's so pretty. If a little is good, more is better. <laughs> and taking another brush and going up into this beautiful shade here. And let's do that right in that center of the eye, inner corner of the eye. And a little bit, just a little bit onto the lid. Ooh, pretty. I don't know which one I like best, to be honest, but I would love for you guys to weigh in. And uh, these are these are fun to me. These are like such pretty, such efficient, such quality. And I mean, for the price, honestly, $25 each, you're better off if you have $25 to spend on makeup, you're better off getting one of these little Viseart palettes because the quality is so consistent um, and they're so pretty and usable. Um, to me, it's like um, it's like a collecting. They're like little snacks. But if, if little snacks were healthy, I don't know if that makes sense. Anyway, tell me what you guys think. Did you pick any of these up? They are so pretty and I'm absolutely thrilled to add these to my collection. But I wanna know what you guys think because that's what makes us a community. So definitely weigh in down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. If you haven't already done so, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so we can continue to grow. Come on over to TikTok and Instagram and give me a big hello over there. And don't forget that you can become a bigger part of this community by giving super thanks or by actually becoming a channel member. But in any way that you choose to be here, I am thrilled to have you and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Bye-bye.